Well, I'm sure, like me, most people start out bookbinding by buying their linen thread in these 50 gram spools. It's pretty uh, straightforward, you pull off what you want, maybe you run, run it across some beeswax and it's ready for sewing. Then I watched Nick Collishaw's DVD on leather binding and saw him using these skeins of linen and I decided there was a better way to bind my linen. And now I, at the end of my bindery I have a selection of different weights of linen thread, most of which I've bought from Hewitt and Sons. If you look at the old images of uh, the women sewing books, and they must have been very good at sewing, they always had this uh, loop of thread at the end of their sewing frame. Not sure that they're all plaited, but uh, I'm sure that they all came from skeins of linen. Here's a skein that I've just received. The first thing I do is label it. So this is 18.3 linen, bought from Hewitt & Sons. I normally get that not undone, but it might take me a minute, moment. But so to speed up this video, I'm just going to cut it. Untangle the skein and to one big loop. Look for a, a piece of thread that's wrapped around it. There'll be two other spots with knots, which will be the two ends of the continuous length of linen. I tie the tag where that thread is uh, around the, the skein, and that's going to be the top. And I'll loop that over the sewing frame. I normally undo those knots, which are at the ends of the continuous length of thread but I forgot to do them this time and I cut them off just because I, I'm trying to keep the video short but I can normally undo those knots pull all the looseness down to the bottom of the loop now would be the time to undo those two knots you could see just underneath my hand and then cut the bottom of the loop. Here I'm dealing with the ends of the length of thread which have been tied around the loop to keep it organized. I'd normally have undone those. Now everything's nice and straightened out. Divide the skein into three bundles of thread and plait it like you were plaiting hair. It's obvious I don't have a lot of experience in plaiting hair, but I get there in the end. I'm still dealing with the end of that thread that I should have dealt with uh, earlier. Now 
And once you reach the end, just wrap another piece of thread around it and tie it off. Now to get a piece of thread it's simply a matter of grabbing the end, pull it, finding one single thread at the top, grabbing that and pulling it out. Now like in that photo of the ladies sewing earlier you can uh, loop the thread over your sewing frame and again to get a thread out just grab it at the bottom find a single thread at the top and pull it out of course the ladies had their thread at the bottom of the pillar up the top there it sort of can get in the way of adjusting the frame up and down